Oh, hey, how's it going? I heard you talking about um, Trump. I actually just was at his rally down in Florida. Oh, really? Yeah. You a Trump supporter too? I'm a Trump supporter because I don't want Hillary. Uh huh. You know, she's definitely socialist. You know, she's gonna try to take away our freedom of speech. It's like you a think so? I definitely know so. Oh, why? Well, can I yeah, in? sure, sure. So Andrea just came by in the middle of the interview, and she wanted to stop by and tell us something. You, what you, you, what were you telling me? My father, he, um, he's really big into. Uh, he studies and does research on what radical Islamic terrorists are doing in our country right now. Uh -huh. And there's a lot of um, literature on it. I wouldn't know it off the top of my head, but essentially, he believes that you know she is helping to push that. Yeah. So there's a law that he said is, is sitting right now at the federal level, and it has to do with Sharia law and things like that. Huh. But if she is elected, that law will pass, and that will be one of the first laws that's going to you know, gradually take away our freedoms. You think she's going to institute Sharia law? It's already happening on U.S. soil, so that is another law that is part of that. You know, I wish my father were here. He would be able to tell you all yeah. about it. I don't know in great detail. So we came here, we kind of want to understand, because we're from New York, yeah. pretty liberal state, right? Everybody I know is voting for Hillary. A couple people I know voting for Trump. Why is it you're voting for Trump? Well, at first, I kind of was thinking, like everyone else, that, you know, I don't want him to be president. I thought, you know, he's kind of silly, he's kind of foolish, he makes a lot of outlandish statements. And then after going to the rally and just... First of all, we are, you know, a Judeo-Christian country. We were raised on those values, and I've, I'm Christian myself, and I've never been to a place where people openly prayed. And at the beginning of the rally, you know, we had, there was um, a women's society that came up, and they opened the rally with prayer before anyone got up and did any speeches. You know, he had a priest come up and speak. And that was, for me, the first time I ever experienced anything like that in America, and it's just like, you know, we have such close ties to the Christian faith, but I've never seen that. You know, you have the separation of church and state, and yeah. that was definitely something that, you know, to experience, I was like, wow, it really took me aback. Yeah. And, you know, also, it's just everywhere on the media now, you there's a lot of propaganda where, you know, they say, you know, there's been a shooting, and then it's Obama up next on tighter gun control laws, and, you know, I don't think that criminals or violent people should have guns, but I also know that it's my constitutional right to be able to bear arms so that if my government is failing me and it's no longer for the people, we can organize a militia and we can fight for those rights and defend them. And I just think there has been this, almost like we've been told that, you know, we can't change anything, so we should just, like, sit back and let it happen. And when I talk about various issues with friends, you know, I'm very against water privatization. And, you know, every time I see someone buying a water bottle, you know, that's your, your right. You know, you're voting with your dollar when you're purchasing that. Yeah. And so it's just another one of those things where people feel powerless, like, what can I do to stop this? So it just... I'm kind of going on a tangent here. <laughs> no, it's fine. You have a lot of ideas, and it's like, the thing is this. I'm not voting for Trump. I'm not into his policies, but I, I don't believe the people voting for him are crazy. I want to understand why, so you've expressed why. I'll tell you why I would disagree, right? Is I don't think this is a Judeo-Christian country, right? The first people that were here on this land are Native Americans. The people that founded what we know as America are pilgrims who came for religious freedom, the Puritans, right? And of course, they have Puritan beliefs, they have religious beliefs, and their values come from those beliefs. But they're immigrants, and then so many other people have come to America and built this country and contributed to it, and they may or may not be Judeo-Christian, you know? And I think this is their country as well. I don't think this country belongs to any one person or one group. If you feel like the country should be formed around Judeo-Christian values, that's totally within your right. That's fair. But I would disagree with you when you say that it's a Judeo-Christian country. Does that make sense? Definitely. When I say that, I'm talking about the Founding Fathers, who, in my opinion, they were Christians. And, you know, in the back of our dollar, it says, in God we trust. So we yeah. were built on that faith. You know, we well, here's my other schools. question, right? We got independence in 1776. I believe the Constitution's written in 1789. Don't quote me, I could be wrong. But when we talk about laws and we talk about America, we always go back this, like, 
almost 300 years, right? 200 some years. But if we, me and you were talking, like even about making a roast beef sandwich, <laughs> We wouldn't be like, well, this in 200 years ago, we made it that way and we should do it that way as well. Like there was no onion rolls back then. I don't think there was horseradish sauce or barbecue sauce. We didn't have sunglasses, right? Yeah. Sunglasses really make it a lot nicer outside. So my thing is, why do you think it makes sense to always go 250 years back to decide what's going on in 2016? I can't really speak to that, but sticking to this issue between Hillary and Trump, I do think that it's important. I'm not that into Hillary either, by the way. But if you're not into her, though, essentially it's come down to the lesser of it's two evils. It's lesser of two evils. I like Bernie. I was a real big Bernie guy. He's socialist, though. He's, you know, but he let me has ask you, so I, I, You know, you, you seem like a very nice person, but you think in labels, right? You're like Judeo-Christian and socialist. What do these things mean to you? What does socialist mean to you? Socialist means communist, essentially. And then, but then what does that mean? Is that, is that essentially bad? Communists are essentially bad? It's not that it's essentially bad, but we're supposed to be America. We're not supposed to be communists. And you know, if you, you know, go back to the Hollywood 10, you know, if anyone thought you were communist, they'd be, you know, freaking out. And we've yeah. become very complacent with these kinds of things. And yeah. I think we're losing the core values that our country was founded on. And I, that we're going to lose something really special. I love America, too. You know what I mean? Yeah. And. I think a lot of people would agree with you that they don't want to live in a quote-unquote socialist country or a communist country. You see visions of Cuba, you see visions of the USSR, and you know, it reminds you of Rocky IV, and that sounds terrible, right? But if you read like the economic policies, it's not like insidious or bad, it's just another idea, right? And the ideas of socialism are floors for how low people can drop in terms of their income how high they can go in terms of income. Um, there's more controls on the economy to create more competition or eliminate competition. You know, like, I think you really love this country and it means something to you, but I feel like you're trying to express it in ways that aren't necessarily encapsulating what America's about. To me, America's about freedom of thought, religion, ideas, identity, independence, and individualism, you know? like. The Puritans came for religious freedom, and I think it was an incredible idea. After the War of 1812, you know, there were great writers like Emerson and Thoreau talking about individualism, transcendentalism. I think that is when America really peaked, like 1812. If you talk about and say America is this or that, you know, America started with the genocide of Native Americans, you know? This country in some ways is founded on genocide, but we wouldn't perpetuate that, right? That doesn't make sense. So, I don't know. I, I try to think in 2016, what are our issues and what can we do? I try not to go backwards too much. I fear that we are going to go backwards, so that's what yeah. I'm saying. I don't, there are so many countries that don't have freedom of speech, and we have that now, but I fear that we will lose that in the future. So I, you may think that I'm, I'm going back. I'm just kind of talking about the roots of the Constitution. And I totally yeah. agree with you on how important freedom of speech is and how important freedom of religion is. I, I also want you to know, I'm not the type of person that wants to be like, I'm right and you're wrong. I think everyone, deep down, is a lot more similar than they are different. Yeah. And we're just expressing it in different ways. The um, organization that my father is a part of is called Act for America, and they have different chapters, and they have more mm -hmm. information on specifically what I was talking about, if you were interested in looking cool. into that. Yeah, so definitely. If you remember that. But I'm, I really appreciate you stopping yeah, by, so thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you for talking yeah. to me. I, I'm sorry I like, cut through the show. Don't shot. be sorry. sorry. You, told, you know what? We love when people are enthusiastic about the show and the country. Yeah, my friend was sending me a picture. He's like, he's coming. You got to find him. And I'm like, the odds of me finding you, you know? Yeah, well, I hope you enjoyed being on the show. I do. Thank All you right, so much. Cool. Take care. Have a good one. Yeah.